Hello scrappers and planet lovers, Tin Man here with another video. So I had a couple questions from a viewer about capacitors and if they were worth more money bringing them in whole and getting capacitor weight price or taking the time opening them, separating the metal and selling the metals individually. So what I have behind me is a number of capacitors that I have been collecting to answer that question. Uh, I do have some scrapper friends that do open them, uh, but today I want to see if it is worth the time and effort. Capacitor weight price is about three cents a pound for these. You will find them in microwaves. That is where I found a majority of them. Air conditioners, dehumidifiers, and other types of appliances. And they do come in different materials. This one here is plastic. Uh, it does have a case on it. I can't even open that one. But the other two more common ones are these styles that you have. The one, this one here, if I put a magnet to it, this outer casing is magnetic. So this shell is going to be tin. And if I was to open this, the tin is worth about 10 cents a pound. These ones here, put a magnet to it. This is non-magnetic. And that's because the outer shell is aluminum. So once I separated it, this aluminum would be classified as clean aluminum. Uh, I do have to remove the oil inside of it, but clean aluminum is going for about 55 cents a pound. So gonna look at a couple here. I do wanna warn you, they are messy, but they are very easy to open. Okay, I do have a scale back here. Um, and again, I have already opened a few to start, but you will have some that are cylindrical. You'll have some small ones like this some larger ones that you see. Um, capacitors, I often talk about these, the safety of these when you are opening up your microwaves. You do wanna make sure that you discharge these um, before you handle them because you can run the risk of a shock. Uh, easy to do, all I do is take a rubberized handle, pliers or side cutters, either one, and I will just touch um, both of your uh, prongs here together and that will discharge that okay so that is something that you do want to make sure this one actually has a warning on it this is from an older style microwave and it actually says um, discharge capacitor before servicing wait an hour uh, to touch this uh, after you unplug it so that is good that some of them do have warning labels on it uh, before I begin with the main uh, ones that I have here I did want to show this one because this one uh, of all of them, this is the only one that I have that is cylindrical. And notice inside of this, look at that tape and gunk in there. So I will say right off the hop with this one, this is going to be extremely hard to clean. There is the glue inside of it, so it is messy for sure. I do have newspaper under here um, to catch some of the oil. Um, but I did want to show this one. I did start working on it and I wanted to pause to show you. So again, some really weird looking glue in this one. The other ones, okay, are more uh, easily cleaned. You can see there is still residue of oil on here. Okay, I have two. The top of these are going to be magnetic. So that is, you will have to remove that first to get the clean um, aluminum price. You can see the lip there is magnetic, so I have opened this one. Okay, so this I will put into my tin. You do wanna check the prongs at the top too. Those are magnetic, okay? Um, any type of prong, sometimes you'll get the magnetic ones, sometimes you'll get brass prongs. Not sure if you're gonna get brass prongs on your capacitors, but I always tell my fellow scrappers and viewers to check prongs because if they are brass, taking those off, you are gonna make more money for brass, okay? But these are magnetic, so they are just gonna stay on here and give me tin price, okay? Very easy to open these. I am gonna open one for this experiment. Um, have my catch base in there. Just gonna grab this one. And all I'm actually gonna do is the top of this is crimped on there. I have a pair of side cutters. I do also wanna make sure I put safety glasses on. And all I'm actually gonna do is start pinching the top and bringing it up. Okay, you can start to see very quickly, okay, there is some oil residue on the cap already on this, but just gonna work at this one. There it is, my hand. Okay, I'm gonna just catch it. You can see the oil starting to go into there. 
Uh, and this does have a really unique smell to it. I do have my windows open, but I was telling my wife, my hands actually smell like a hand lotion that I have um, that's um, a hemp. Uh, it's called, a, it's just a hemp lotion. Uh, very, very familiar smell. Um, I'm not saying that there is going to be any type of essential oils in this or anything. So please don't uh, think that, uh, you know, that I'm going to rub my hands in this or anything. But it does have a, a similar smell to a hand cream that I have. Uh, it is an oil for sure. Uh, and I do want to stress that it is messy. So be careful of that. Okay, but again, I have to work around this to get the cap off. Okay, so takes a couple seconds. Okay, but uh, I'm already going to say right now, just the mess alone, in my opinion, is not worth it. Okay, but it does come off. There you go. There's the top of my cap. Just going to keep uncrimping it. Work it out. There we go. Okay. So again, this is going to go into my tin pile. Inside of it, there is a type of paper, if you will. Okay. Just going to keep trying to remove the oil. I do want to have, I do have to remove this. And aluminum is very easy to open and very easy to cut. So I am actually just going to just cut a little bit just so I can access this type of paper roll. Okay. And get to it. So this is what it looks like. Look at that stuff inside. Okay. It does, it is still wet. So there is still some oil on there. Not sure really what I'm going to do with this after because it is not going to be worth scrap value. Okay. But the nice thing about these, you do want to, you know, it is easy to, to cut this aluminum, but aluminum is sharp. So you do want to be careful when you are, or if you decide to open these, okay? But just going to unravel that, pull out this paper, get a screwdriver. Okay, I wanna try and minimize the amount of um, debris on my bench, if you will. Okay, so there it is, just gonna start sliding up. There it is, okay, so there is the casing. Okay, and right now I'm just gonna tell you it's not going to be worth it. My hands are all covered, but I do have three cases right here that are opened. Okay, so first I'm going to check how many of these it takes to get a pound. So as I said, three cents a pound, it's going to take, so I've got one pound, three ounces here. So, you know, it's going to take four of these. So I would get three cents, about four cents for this. Okay. Uh, the clean aluminum now, I have three casings, as I said. Here are my three casings. If this was clean aluminum, 55 cents a pound. I have two ounces, so 2.1 ounce. Okay, so I'm going to need to do, obviously, there's 16 ounces in there. You know, I'm going to have to do probably, what, 15 of those almost. So not worth my time for sure. Uh, it is very, very light, okay? I do have a couple, like I said, I am gonna weigh this little tin here. A Little bit more value. I got three ounces of tin there, okay? And unfortunately, again, I cannot do anything now with this stuff because there is no scrap value to this. So a short video, a quick one, but I did have to find out for myself if it was worth it. So not even going to tackle the rest of these. Uh, I'm just going to bring them in and get the capacitor weight price. Um, hope that answered that question. Again, some people do open them. Some people will separate the materials. I think it depends on how much time you have, how many you have, um, and I guess how much cleanup you want to do. But for me, as I said, doing three of these and only getting, you know, maybe five cents, six cents, not worth my time. So again, hope you I hope that answered that question. Please continue asking. I will do my best to answer the questions. Uh, having an experiment to show it is is definitely a good thing for me as well because I have always contemplated that as well, and I finally figured out uh, that it is not worth it. Um, please comment down below, like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Tin Man out.